For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do I allow not, for what I would that I that do I not, but what I hate that do I. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For the will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would I do not, but the evil that I would that I would not, that I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law, for I delight in the law of God after the inward man. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity of the law of sin which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, that you just uh, uh, use the, this uh, short time, Lord. Father, Lord, use me. Uh, I take this opportunity not lightly, Lord. I pray, Father, Lord, that you would just, um, uh, um, just do a powerful work here and, uh, and that you be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. The title of my message is, is Living in the Spirit. Living in the Spirit. How many times have we seen around in this... Um, in the independent fundamental Baptist movement of uh, fleshly works within the independent fundamental yep. Baptist movement. How many times do we see people thinking that, hey, um, look at what I'm doing today. Look at me. Look at what, look at what I'm doing. Look, look at all the works that I'm doing. Look at, look at me. And, and, and me up here preaching at this time, I rely totally on the Holy Spirit because I know there's nothing good within my flesh. That's right. I know there's right. nothing good... Which, which what I can do and say, and, and, and when I leave and I walk away from this pulpit, uh, the flesh is still with me. That battle that we war against is that flesh that we wear every day. That's we're right. all carnal. We're all carnal. We all wear this robe of flesh. And by trusting, in, by trusting in the Spirit, when we're saved, Holy Ghost lives inside us. The Holy Ghost lives inside us, and Jesus is alive. And we know that if we rely on Him, which is inside us, then we have, we, we can't do it, we can't, um, we're made righteous through that. We're made righteous Good, amen. through the blood of Christ. There's too many Christians today that are living by the works on what they do and on, and on what, what they can do and, and uh, uh, how many, um, how many uh, uh, people that I can bring into church or how many people. Rely on the Holy Ghost which lives in you to get in front of a door and speak the gospel. Man, Just Good. get in the word of God. And say, look, this is what the Bible says. This is what God says. This is what Jesus saved me, saved a wretched man like myself, and saved me and promised me everlasting life for eternity, secure, good. secure yeah. through the blood of Christ, right. that I'm, right. I have assurance that I'm going to heaven. Man. And let me tell you about it, sir or ma'am. Let me tell you that Jesus, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whomever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That word perish means you're not going to go to hell. You're yep. not gonna die. You're not gonna. You're gonna have. You're not gonna have to ha have to live that second death in, in in a burning hell. That that you would that you would live for eternity through the blood of Christ, and that we as Christians need to rely on what God puts forth in our heart. Young man over there talked about the Great Commission. Great Commission is that we get out there and we tell all those lost ones, which I once was, all those ones that are that are. Uh, 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 so I'm, I'm even talking about the Jehovah Witnesses. I'm even talking about the Mormons. Those lost ones that are sending people to hell. I ran into one just last week when we we're soul winning, and the guy was so clueless. I mean, I, I kept I kept showing him word for word. I said, "Look, I'm not sure. I'm not going to even try to um, interpret the Bible for you. Read right here, at Romans Romans three ten. Read right here, at Romans three twenty three. Yeah, Read right here, at Romans um uh, six twenty three. Read right here." And he said, "I read it." He goes. Oh, let's go all the way back to um, let's go back to Ecclesiastics. I know exactly where he's going. He's going that this earth is going to be here forever. And I said, No, this earth is not going to be here forever. It's going to burn up. Right. It's going to burn up, and it's going to with fire and brimstone. This earth is going to pass away, and Man. God will bring back the new heaven and the new earth. That's good. And 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 even my son was there. My son sat there, and he brought out he brought out scripture for this man. I said, Look, sir, do you want to believe? Do you want to believe if you're wrong? Do you want to believe? Because I said. You think I'm sending people to hell, and I can tell you, you're sending people to hell, 
And I said, I can tell you with, this, with authority you're sending people to hell. I said, am I sending people to hell? He said, no. I said, why? Because you don't believe in hell, do you? Yep, that's right. They don't believe yep. in a hell. They believe that this earth is going to be here forever. Right. I'm telling you Christians that you come, that you, all you got to do is rely on the Holy Spirit which lives inside you. Yeah. Deny yourself. Deny your flesh. Deny not wanting to preach. Deny not Man, wanting to, uh, deny yeah. not wanting to uh, 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 go to church. Deny not wanting to uh, read your Bible. Deny yourself. Put yourself on the back burner. Man. God, what did God say in his word? God said, anyone who, anyone who follows me, um, uh, anyone who follows me, uh, pick up your cross and deny yourself and follow me. That's probably, that's my version. We'll see. <laughs> um, but that, that, I'm telling you, you know what verse I'm going to. <laughs> Rely on the Holy Spirit, which lives inside of every single one of you. You're saved. And if you're not saved, uh, get somebody, um, get somebody here tonight and say, "Hey, I'll, what, what's this? What's this man up here talking about up here? What's he talking about salvation? What's he talking about the Holy Spirit that's living inside you? Rely on the Holy Spirit because we're all, we're all Bible believe. Uh, once you, once you, once you're saved, you're Bible believing and separate yourself from the world. And I, I got to do that. I got to do that every single day. I got to separate myself from the world. Right. I got to yeah. separate myself. I got to separate my thoughts. I got to separate everything because my, 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 my flesh." Just wants to rely on number one, which is me. Right. My flesh just yep. wants to rely on, on, on what I want to do. My flesh just wants to um, continue just to um, just live for myself. But um, I've seen by listening to preaching, by uh, by uh, reading my Bible, by doing things that my body doesn't want to do, which is lay in bed, by getting up and, and getting up and moving and living for the for, for the Holy living for Jesus, the Holy Spirit which lives inside me, getting out there and knocking on doors, and getting out there and uh, doing a work for God, not because I can do it, because I can't do it. you got to rely on the Spirit. you got to rely on Jesus, which is inside you. you got to rely on... Uh, and, 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 and when it works, and you see and you see the fruit coming, you see all the people getting saved, and you see all, all the fruit coming, you say, hey, praise God. Yep. Amen. Praise good. God Amen. For, for, for that good work. Praise God for saving a uh, wretched sinner as me, as, as Paul wrote in there. Amen. Praise God for all that. And um, I just encourage you to do that. Let's pray. Man. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this, um, this short time of preaching, Lord. I pray, Father, Lord, you uh, bless it and that you, um, uh, you do the work, Lord, and, uh, and everybody under my voice, that they would uh, just rely on you and live by the Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Man. Amen. Amen. Amen.